quick disclaimer, this video will showcase what's best for the current patch, being 1.0.103. The game is prone to changes and some information may be outdated a couple of months from now. We must act. Oh, and this video is supposed to be a simple guide made for those who either recently started playing or for those who want to know useful tips and tricks you didn't know before. Let's go! If you're level 10 or below, stick with the lower half difficulties. By level 15, go up to extreme, while level 20 players and above can go for difficulty 7 and higher. Reloading any weapon with a bigger mag while it still has bullets in it is always faster. Occasionally you're gonna waste a few extra bullets, but saving time and being efficient is much more important as the difficulty gets higher. Shooting rockets out of the mech is a bit bugged, so just be careful when turning. The diamonds on the map, aka minor places of interest, turn into this symbol once all the samples have been collected from that specific spot. Allied destroyer joining Drop your samples on the ground using X by default, or just hold the D-pad down on controller. Dropping samples to an assigned teammate will reduce the maintenance your squad has to do, giving you a higher chance of successfully getting out with most of your samples, if not all. Regarding terminates, you're gonna wanna stick with the slugger, defender, the sickle, the scorcher, the breaker, and its spray and prey variant. While you're gonna perform better on the automatons with the sickle, slugger, the punisher, and the defender again, but the defender has more potential in automaton missions since it can be used with the single-handed shield. The best boosters are the health pod space optimization, the stamina, muscle, and vitality enhancement, and the localization confusion booster. Always take health pod. I don't even need to explain why. The stamina booster increases your stamina by 30% and its recovery by 66%. Vitality booster increases the amount of hits you can take before a limb gets broken. The muscle booster makes it easier to go over sand, deep waters, snow and muddy terrain. Where it shines is going up and down slope terrain at full speed, whereas without it you're much slower in most cases. The localization confusion booster gives an extra 15% downtime between bug breaches. The booster shines more and more when used on higher difficulties. Wähle einfach eine Combo, das zu deiner Mission am meisten passt. Denk nicht zu viel nach. Wait, I saw a broadcast about the bots spreading illegal propaganda, but I didn't know Helldivers had a fourth right. <laughs> For terminates, there are three main armor passives you're gonna wanna look for when picking out your armor. The engineering kit passive, the med kit passive, and the extra padding. Light armors with the engineering kit passive give you two extra grenades. Pair it up with impacts or stun grenades to make the armor even better. The medkit armor class gives you two extra stims and extends the stims effect length. It's well paired with the flamethrower since you're inevitably gonna catch on fire. Light padded armors are okay alternatives because they have higher armor while still having good stamina regen. Heavy armor isn't gonna be worth your time regarding terminates. For the automatons, it's a complete 180. Heavy armors are gonna be your go-to, so stick with every heavy armor that has the fortified passive and medium but padded armors. Heavy armor reduces 33% of damage taken, and on top of that, the fortified armor passive gives you 50% explosive damage resistance. Extra padded medium armors give you more stamina and the same benefit of having the original damage reduction. The armor is even better now. Best support weapons you wanna bring are the railgun, auto cannon, grenade launcher, and the arc thrower. The grenade launcher and auto cannon destroy nests and eggs, and even bringing in a flamethrower wouldn't be a bad idea, as it destroys eggs quickly and gets rid of bigger terminate groups. Außerdem, ein Viertel deines Tankes tötet Chargers, aber nur wenn du für deren Beine zielst. You can also destroy the spore spear and the shriekers nests from long ranges with almost any support weapons. Use the distance to your advantage. The expendable anti-tank stratagem became much more viable after its buff. The 70 second cooldown and the ability to one-shot chargers makes it more than worth taking. I'm better! I am better! The orbital laser is a game changer, destroying nests and buildings while getting rid of bile titans and chargers without a problem. The 500 kg bomb is insta picked by many, constantly being compared to the orbital rail cannon. It becomes really good after fully upgrading the hangar ship modules, but we're gonna talk about that later. 
Also, what a banger. Jesus Christ. Mwah. The Eagle Airstrike and the Eagle Cluster Bomb are a solid pick overall. While the Cluster Bomb performs better on Terminates and the Airstrike on Automatons, because of its destructive power, at least one of these in a team will be a game changer. Taking sentries on defend missions is always a good idea, especially if upgraded. The safest spot regarding turrets is directly on them. Proning makes you take less explosion damage. It's about 80%, so do it. You can survive being in a fire tornado as long as you have enough stims available. The explosive canisters on the ground aren't the only thing you can blow up. After finishing a mission, spam left and right click to... Yeah. You can throw a grenade in outposts as soon as the door opens, and it's even easier with the auto cannon. Or just land on the building. It also works against any terminate enemies and nests. Stop wasting your stims. Verwende einen Sim nachdem du deine Ausdauer verbraucht hast. Das ist ein guter Weg, um von den ekelhaften Viechern wegzurennen. Ideally, you would use it around now. Always dodge through bushes. Leave the missing portion of your health unhealed. You're better off using it for stamina gain or just timing spore explosions and tactical falling. Go up to the slowing fungi, heal yourself, and then shoot them. Diving off of cliffs instead of jumping or falling negates any limb injury. You can also pre-stim a fall just like this too. Throw yourself off of any ledge and get healed just right in time. For early game, you're gonna wanna upgrade the donation access license. Also get the liquid ventilated cockpit upgrade. After upgrading the basics, a good path to go down would be maxing out the bridge and hangar modules and getting expanded weapons bay along with the power steering. With all of this out of the way, go experiment with different guns, stratagems and armors to see what you like the most. After all, this is just a simple guide. Viel Glück, Helldiver! Du wirst es brauchen! See this f***? Yeah, I'm... I'm him. <laughs> See this f***? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> is insta picked by many constantly. Who writes me on Discord and distracts me right now? And viel Glück, Haldeva. Hal, hal, 70 second cooldown and the ability. Ability, ability. Uh, with his ability.